We are heading out to have a longer day today. Uh, apparently, maybe an easier day. <sighs> Today's a rough day, it's hard. I am struggling and it has nothing to do with how steep or hard this climb is. seeing it everywhere. Um, it's not ready, unfortunately, <laughs> but it's everywhere. Uh, it's not legal here, technically, but it is so, marked, uh, so much a part of the, uh, the culture and a lot of their religious practices that in the mountains, they just kind of, whatever. So it's really interesting. I've never seen wild cannabis just out and about. I hate to be braggadocious, but per the huge, I am unquestionably the cutest little hiker boy on this trail in my great secrets. The music has started, do you know what that means? What does that mean, guys? It's time to dance, right? <laughs> We are leaving Sinaloa. We are heading out to have a longer day today. Uh, apparently, maybe an easier day, but a longer day nonetheless. Do you believe them? No. Yeah. No. Guides lie. <laughs> that's, that's one thing I know. <laughs> With the best of intentions. But tonight we will get to Durali. And then tomorrow, we will get to Annapurna Base Camp. Last night, I was so tired. I fell asleep. I don't even remember falling asleep. It just happened at like 7.15. I didn't wake up until 4.45 a.m. So we tired, but it's so nice to have these tea houses, these little, I don't even know if you call it a village. I mean, they're just little things that just pop up along the trail. A little guest house, a little restaurant, Lovely. Let's bring these on. Let's go to Nepal. Let's hike. And I got so excited because I'd never been in a hike before. And I thought, this is like, ah, oh, it's just a hike. You know, I can do it. But then when Troba Trip sent the itinerary, I was like, I need to prepare for this. Trav, my husband, uh, been pushing me a lot to go to gym. I, I don't go to gym usually, but he was kind of like torturing me every day. Work on your lungs, work on your cardio, you gotta need this. I was like, what am I doing this, Travis? I, I'm in a, I'm always in a, what do you call it, treadmill, torturing myself to work on my lungs, because I have no idea how high we will be up in this height. Okay. How's it going today? It is going better than yesterday. I'm a little bit more in shape. Today is fabulous compared to yesterday. <laughs> it's doing great because we are with the great people and everyone is friendly. Plus, the mountain is just mind-blowing. Look at that. 
Put a camera there. Yes, it was quite challenging because every step is very steep. And then go down again. But it's all right because I want to grow, grow my, my butt. It's a good glitz workout, you know? I've never done anything like this, and I really did have to push myself very hard. And so, it, you know, a few times I was thinking, okay, um, am I pushing myself too hard? You know, how do you know when not to continue on? But um, I learned from the Nepalans. I, I learned this, this uh, couple, elderly couple was in front of me at one point when I was really thinking like, Oh my gosh, this is it. I'm gonna have to be the helicopter off. And this woman, she had to have been even 20 years older than me. And she just was walking at such a slow pace. And I just walked behind her for a long, long time. And I felt like it was, it's gonna be silly to say, but like God's intervention that this is your sign, you need to keep going. And I thought, you can do this. You need to do this. This was my, my path. I needed to do this. The other thing is, is I'm probably the second to oldest in the group. And I felt that um, for me, being at my age now, you know, I used to do this when I was younger. Then you had kids. And then um, at my age now, I feel if I don't continue to do hard things and do things like this. Um, you know, I want to be 90, 100 years old and my bones and my muscles nice and strong. So that's also why I pushed myself to do this, to just know I can do this. And this is my new path for the next, hopefully 40 years. Mountain monkey. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There's a monkey right there. So we just arrived in a little village called Bamboo, and we're just doing what we're doing in all these villages, which is uh, grab a, a drink, a hot tea, and have this lemon ginger honey tea made with local honey. Um, I don't remember the whole story, but they're called honey gatherer men, honey honey hunters, something like that. Uh, they have a bee here, it's gigantic, uh, but they lay their, or they make their nests on like really steep cliffs. So it's really, 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 really dangerous to collect the honey. And uh, uh, it's worth it though. It's so good. What are you thinking about? <laughs> I had a friend who had their Achilles tendon snap about a month ago. And then, um, I just read the book Tom Lake by Ann Patchett, and a character had their Achilles snap, <laughs> and I really don't want that to happen. So, at that tea house stop, Some porters were carrying a corpse on a stretcher down the mountain. So, <clears throat> 
The group's pretty quiet. It's uh, nice. I don't think, I don't know what happened. I have no, no idea. But no matter what happened, it's just a reminder that there's risk to everything. Trekking in the Himalayas, driving to the grocery store. decided to go on this trip um, in particular because uh, for 2023 I set two goals for myself. Um, one, to travel internationally and two, to do a physical challenge. And this trip was a twofer. My name is Kirsten um, and I am from the San Francisco Bay Area. I spent a lot of time thinking about whether or not this was a good decision for me. Um, I have a number of chronic illnesses um, that do not present themselves <laughs> outwardly, um, but definitely make it really hard for me on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, so I was really worried that if I had a flare day, I was going to be lying on the floor, not able to do anything, and I was going to have to, I was not going to make it, and I was going to have to potentially disappoint the group, potentially disturb plans. Um, and so it was really hard for me to make the decision to, but I think, you know, I, I talked to some folks and thought I could do it. And so I then spent like six or seven months like working with my physical therapist and working with my pain doc and, you know, making sure I had the, you know, enough fitness to be able to, to think that I had a chance. <laughs> so for me, like one, I have chronic fatigue, I have fibromyalgia, I have IBS, I have all of these things, and they aren't going to like magically get better at any point from now on. They're potentially, they're potentially gonna stay the same or they could get worse. And so I was like, well, if I'm gonna do something like trek in the Himalayas, I better do it soon or else I definitely won't be able to do it. Um, and the other thing that really sort of helped me was like I a lot of the planning and sort of being like okay we're gonna have quarters they're gonna be able to carry this much I won't have to have that weight on my back my back so my back shouldn't spaz up. I can plan for the fact that I might have to go to the bathroom in the forest um, which I did <laughs> and, and it was fine. Um, and but like you plan for it you you bring the right things and it's not a big deal um, and so I think for me it was all about that that planning so I could be be comfortable with deciding to do something like this Solids, maybe liquids, I don't know. I just really, really, really want to poop. Breathe deep. Every time you stop.
Today is a rough day, it's hard. There are so many stairs. The stairs never end. And they tell us the day's elevation, but they only tell us like the net gain. So, what's 1,500 feet of climb over the day is actually like 4,500 feet. But there's also a lot of down. So the net gain is 1,500. And we're all, we're almost there, apparently. But I think we're all struggling. None of us are, are flying up this mountain. Everyone's doing it. People are not getting too much altitude sickness yet. We just crossed 10,000 feet. So, um, time will tell. In the meantime, the views aren't bad. another video click here want to learn more about my upcoming trips click here want to subscribe and like all my videos and turn those bell notifications on